John Kavakis here uh, for Forum 43, and this is another episode of My Take. And this one, we're going to be taking a look at Esfal's Cord L29 Special Coupe made by Hayes. Uh, so this has been out for a couple years. It might be one that you've overlooked, and so I want to just take a closer look at it today. Um, let's talk about Cord for a few minutes. Uh, back in the late 20s, they kind of had the world by the tail. They were making very luxurious cars. They uh, 1929, they came out with the first front drive chassis in the United States, beat Rexton to the market by a couple of months. Uh, and the advantage of that front wheel drive chassis was that it was long and wide and, and low, and they could mount the bodies lower on the chassis. So uh, that gave a lot of flexibility to the designers. Uh, so there was a Russian designer that emigrated to the United States named Alexis D. Shaknovsky. Uh, and he designed a special uh, coupe uh, convertible roadster that uh, he wanted made and the Hayes Motor Company in um, Illinois decided to take it on as an example of what they could do. The uh, design, I've got a picture of it here, uh, was striking. Um, it, it's a classic design, probably one of the most beautiful, graceful designs that we've seen come out of the, the late 20s, early 30s era. and. Uh, they achieved that by dropping the belt line. Uh, you see the, the side windows are kind of teardrop shaped. That belt line falls below the hood and accentuates how long the hood looks. It's long uh, hood, short rear deck design long before anybody knew what that meant. And big bold tires with giant discs on them and very bold front end and a quick drop off on the back. Just a beautiful, graceful design. And um, it, it was a great car that it won awards uh, right out of the box. Uh, of course, they were on the verge of the Great Depression and things would change the market uh, by then. But uh, the car was just recognized as a landmark design right from the get go. And it was a good thing that it was recognized as a landmark design because it wasn't that fast of a car. Uh, it uh, had a top speed. Uh, somewhere around 70, 75 miles an hour or so, 120 horsepower engine. Respectable for its time, but certainly not competitive with the uh, high-end luxury cars of its day. Uh, but this one didn't have to go fast. All it had to do was look good, and it's done that ever since it was introduced. So Esfal, uh made a model of this, released in 2015. The first time I saw it was at the 2015 Chicago show uh, in March. It was released in February. Uh, I remember Dick Brown was at the show, and um, we were staying in the same hotel, and uh, the day before the show, he said, hey, come on up to my room, I want to show you something. And uh, he had one of the first production uh, samples of the L29 there in his room, and we opened it up and took a look at it. We were just astounded by it. And so I want to just show you some of the finer points of this. Uh, you know, f packaging is... Uh, relatively generic, but they take a few extra steps. There's usually an information card inside uh, of their models. And if we, they've got a reflective backing to it so you can kind of see both sides of the car at the same time. There's the information card. A little bit of background on the car. Uh, and uh, of course they tape the, the cases to the base so that they're secure. Um, I don't know if you've ever bought directly from Esval, but uh, they're very careful in their packing as well. A lot of bubble wrap and uh, tremendous care in shipping their cars. And there's the car. And uh, boy, I, I have to tell you, uh, they they got it. Uh, but it, it, it's not just the fact that they've got fidelity. Uh, and it's not just the fact that it's accurate. It's the details are just absolutely incredible on this car. Uh, the finish is beautiful. Uh, they certainly have captured the design. It looks as dramatic as the full-size car does, but where this car really excels is in the minute details. So we're going to take a look at it here. I'll give you a closer look at it, but the first thing I want to call your attention to is, is lensing and the grills and the bumpers. Uh, they're extremely delicate, but they, they project that robust front end that the L29 had. Uh, so the wheels are very, uh, they're accurately reproduced um, in proportion with the car. The straps on the, um, on the side-mounted spare tires are, 
are exactly the scale and beautiful. The mirror sits on top of them. Uh, the interior with the wood grain, the chrome trim around the wheel, the padded roof. If you ever get a chance to take a look inside, you can see the it had a padded roof. Well, that's replicated as well. And probably the most amazing thing on this car is the pinstriping. Um, I, I don't know how they did it, but it's, it, it's, it's extremely delicate, extremely straight in the way it's been placed on the car. Uh, and they've just done a beautiful job with it. There's a piano hinge along the front of the hood. The, uh, um, the, the mascot on, the, on the, the hood emblem is, is accurately made. And it, it's just a beautiful, beautiful car. And yes, it's been around for a while. Uh, but it's one that if you haven't thought about picking it up or if you're unaware of it, uh, s -Fall still hasn't. Uh, they've been generous enough to provide me with uh, some models that we'll be going over. Maybe we'll be doing a short, a few short takes on them. Uh, but this is one of the prize models. I remember when Dick and I discussing it in his hotel room that it might be, just might be the model of the year. Uh, so it's certainly worth considering. Uh, it's a beautiful model. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for joining me.